If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so we can pass SS Sniper Wolf. We're getting close. So I've been away from YouTube for a minute. I've been on the vacations, but now we're back. And a video that you guys keep telling me to react to via Instagram, by the way, please follow me if you haven't already, link below. I've been talking about everyone's favorite YouTuber of all time, the nicest person of all time, someone who surely would love to meet with a fan with cancer, <laughs> Sniper Wolf. And I've been talking about her for years and not for the good things she's done. I mean, let's not forget the doxing of Jack's films from a few months ago. Let's not forget the time she ghosted a fan who had cancer and the only reason why she even engaged with her was because of the backlash. And I'll be forgetting that she pretty much stole someone's whole personality. But yeah, I want to give a big thanks to Nerd City for making this video. SS Sniper Wolf loses it. Assaults innocent bystanders at gaming competition. As one does, right? I mean, I know that I get a little crazy, a little unhinged when I lose that Fortnite or Halo. Like, I just want to say the n-word and assault people. But with that said, let's just get right into it. I'm pretty hyped, actually. Super Wolf calls herself a psychopath. She has homicidal fantasies. Fantasies of me, like, beating the shit out of them or, like, killing them. And, and they'll just, like, feel so good. It gets me going. Other celebrities who've been penned in with her at an event have seen her suddenly snap into a violent rage with no warning. There's a big, crazy story involving Sniper Wolf that you probably haven't heard about. This is something that I always say, and I'm sure some people are sick of me saying this, but every single content creator that looks extremely wholesome, they're so nice, they will never do anything wrong. You could usually tell when people are being fake nice, or when people are just being fake. I think a lot of people undermine their fans and how smart they are. And it's like, you could tell <laughs> when you're being fed BS or when people just seem too good to be true. Always had this feeling that SS Sniper Wolf was fake. This is before everything went down when everyone started hating her. I hated her before that. <laughs> you could just see through the fakeness. You can just see right through the nice girl gamer act. There's nothing more than I hate than a fake YouTuber. Hey guys, today we're gonna be taking a look at this video and I I'm so happy to do it and they're miserable doing it. Or hey guys, look at me, I'm so positive and I love everyone and everything and then they turn out to be the worst person imaginable. It's like, I hate those people, I hate fake people. And you know, I don't wanna come across as I'm the only real one, you know what I mean? I'm the only real YouTuber out there. You gotta respect your audience, right? Don't insult their intelligence. Especially nowadays, everyone could see right through you. You're like, oh yeah, you're fake. And most, I'm not saying all, right? But most of the top YouTubers are absolutely phonies. They got fake personalities, why? Well, it all comes down to money. I mean, that's what's making them money, being fake, pretend to be someone or not. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to become a YouTuber, you know, all those years back. Because I felt like there were so many fake ones. Your favorite greasy hair YouTuber. She got some greasy hair. Oh, no. Ew. Mommy said you have to take a shower. I think I've gone a month without showering before. That was really cool. I said I don't take a shower. Now that I think about it, I haven't showered in what seems to be like weeks. Are you serious? I would rather not shower for three months. Oh, no, she did not. Unless you don't shower and you smell. I cannot wash my own hair. You know, if you're not going to wash your hair, just cut the whole thing off. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen this footage before. Ew, like you can straight up cook KFC chicken right on her hair and she'll have enough grease for some chicken wings. Disgusting. I can. <laughs> this looks absolutely disgusting. I could smell this through my screen. I could feel the white flakes in my hands if I ran my fingers. Like I know that people say S is not for Wolf is a baddie and I agree with you. The hygiene is absolutely worse. And I'm not claiming to be, well, I do claim to have the best hygiene because I actually do. I do shower every single day, you know, gotta groom, gotta groom yourself. <laughs> you gotta look the best as you possibly can, right? Within the limit. I know some people think, oh, S is not for Wolf is so bad. I would love to date her. And because, well, she does look pretty bad. Behind the scenes, it must be horrible to be around her. This is not normal. This is not healthy for like 23, 24 year old woman. Single bald spot, strands of hair struggling to cover that bald spot. <laughs> Now I get why she wears the beanie for. I mean, if she's making fun of other people's bald spot, I mean, see, I could see roaches living in here. I could see bed bugs living in there. A nice, warm, comfy, greasy bed. Hell yeah, dude. Also joining us today, Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf embarrassed herself in more ways than one. Billed as the pro gamer in a pro amateur duo, Sniper Wolf was outplayed by everyone on the stage that day, including the amateur playing with a bucket on his head. All said and done, her team finished tied for dead last with zero points. She got eliminated early in all three rounds of the tournament. 
In fact, she turned in such a poor performance that she barely appears on screen at all. I mean, this just confirms with the lawsuit. This is something that I've known of for years, and I think everyone else as well. They're like, well, yeah, Sniper will fakes her gameplay, and the one who does it is the boyfriend or the husband, or I think they were married, yeah, the husband. And a lot of people say, how did he get hurt? They broke up, they got divorced, that was his fumble. Nah, not when we know everything. It kind of starts making sense, you know what I mean? <laughs> now it makes sense why he would want to get away from her, but I would have been like, damn, if I got to date as a sniper wolf, I would have been super fucking lucky, right? But looking at everything now, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so everyone knows that she's been faking her gameplay forever. The, the one who was playing Call of Duty and owning those noobs was the boyfriend. So it really shouldn't be that much of a shocker that she sucks at gaming. Sniper Wolf, hello. She was like playing in the competition, but she was the very first person to die. I didn't see this, but people said like she died within like a few seconds. What many who were there did witness off camera was Sniper Wolf getting involved in altercations. The first of which was a screaming match with her partner, Evan. He can't play for her live. When I don't get my way, I, I scream and I scream really loud. Sniper Wolf and the man who now claims to have been playing for her at home were observed to be furious with each other immediately after her last place finish. I mean, I get it. I hate losing at Fortnite. Like I said, that gamer word just pops out of my mouth the second I lose. Does it get to the point where I want to, I don't know, abuse or stream at my partner? No. Sniper Wolf, the person who's been claiming to be nice. And this is the same type of person and YouTuber that YouTube always promotes. It's this wholesome, lovely, cunning creator, Sniper Wolf. How, how does she do it? How does she make such a good video? Well, she steals him. I think anyone with half a brain would have been like yeah you know sniper wolf looks like a very shitty person she looks absolutely fucking insane <laughs> from doing so badly in fortnite yeah i think that's what why it was he's probably like he was probably was like coaching her to like be good at that and he left i hate being alone i don't like going anywhere without sausage or my mom or somebody i know i have to be with one of them preferably sausage one thing we forget about narcissistic folks is they don't like abandonment i have really bad separation anxiety use their abandonment issues to control them you gotta keep the kitty on edge pretend yeah. to break up with her. <laughs> you gotta do a lot of a lot of things you know you're the puppet master now he made he makes me what? inhale his poop Who's the real psychopath here, the dude or the girl? And unfortunately, this was not her only skirmish of the evening. Everybody knows when you lose in an argument, all you gotta do is start screaming. I'm one of those lovely people that as soon as I get mad, they take out all their frustration. When I get mad, it's real quick. When I get mad, I get really mad. When I get mad, you know what happens, guys? The demon comes out, the alpha male comes out, the wolf. No, 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 when I get mad, I get really fucking mad. You don't want to be around me. I see red. <laughs> I, I, everything goes black and all I see is the red. Just anger. I feel the rage. <laughs> yeah, a sniper wolf was like 20 something <laughs> talking like this. Oh my god. Like, I'm sorry, but it seems absolutely miserable to be around her. Am I shocked by this? No, not really. Uh, am I surprised that it took this long to come out? Yeah, this should have been out three, four, five years ago. Maybe that way we could put a stop to your shitty fucking content. Pretties within the game. She made up for it in real life. Just like she always knew that she would. <laughs> I never had time to practice or go to events and compete. And not to mention, I am a very bad sport. If I lose, like, I'll go ape shit or cry or attack people. I'll literally attack people. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I get going ape shit, right? And I get you getting mad and screaming when you lose. You know, gamers, that's just, ga that's just gamer shit. <laughs> I'm trying to say that without laughing. But assaulting people when you lose? I've been playing Halo 3 for ever pretty much since it came out since i was like eight years old you no know, i've played with my cousins with my friends with my sister and i've lost okay and i've been like no god damn it why why but i've never thought i just lost time to assault someone time to punch someone in their fucking face because i lost the game i've said uh stuff that definitely belongs in the xbox 360 era but i've never assaulted anyone she played poorly and then attacked people. They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom and then when I was walking back, I saw them and they were like, hey, Ozzy. And even though, and then I was like, I was there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. They just walk over and then 
I go into in there and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent and she's like, like angry. And then she like lunges at me. And I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying. Got in between and like pulled her off me. And then they took her back into the room. And then I was out there and they were like, what the f was that? <laughs> it was just like, it was so, oh yeah. She was like, oh yeah, she was she screaming at me. She's like, a bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube. But the one sentence I can say is she goes, you fake your gay plan and then charges towards me swinging. Ashley Lane came before Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf saw her success and was like, I'm gonna steal that shit. And she did, pretty much ripped off her whole personality and then accuses her of doing that and then accuses Ashley of faking her gameplay. Meanwhile, that's what she's been doing the whole time. I'm pretty sure Sniper Wolf hates who she is. She hates the fact that she's gotten this big by stealing other people's whole personality and she can't live with it. I think she's a disgusting fucking person. I'm talking about Sniper Wolf. As he seems like a completely normal, chill person. I I've talked to her once. You know, she seems extremely chill, laid back, and I can't say the same thing for Sniper Wolf. She seems fucking insane. Well, Sniper Wolf sucks. She's really stinky. She has greasy hair, and she's insane, okay? She's fucking crazy. The second you threaten to attack someone over fucking YouTube videos, that's when it's like, yeah, it's over, right? I don't like Ethan S online, right? I think I made it perfectly clear to everyone here. I don't like that dude. But if I see him in person at VidCon or an event or whatever, it's not like I'm gonna punch him or assault him unless he does something first and I'm knocking him the fuck out, right? But I'm not going to attack someone over internet beef, over YouTube beef. Leah had to be physically pulled off of Azra and was dragged away screaming and clawing. Yes, this was me, the child with the anger issues who would never back down from a fight. And I scream really loud. You know that high-pitched scream that girls do? I'm not even gonna do it for you guys just to spare you headphone users. <laughs> When the narcissist says something hurtful, or they recount how they said something hurtful in the past, saying it or as they're remembering that they said it and talking about it, you see again this sense of relief on their face, kind of this subtle smile sometimes. Like even just the memory of it brings a little bit of joy. But everybody heard about it. Everybody was like coming up to me all night saying like, wow, you have anger issues. <laughs> Why do you scream so much, especially when you can't win a level in a game? Do you have anger issues? Maybe I do have anger issues. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? <sighs> I can't help my anger. Whenever I get mad at a game, I get really mad and I can't help it. Okay, I was low-key hoping she was gonna, you know, pull the... <laughs> The typical, yeah, I see red. You know what? I don't think it comes as a shocker that Sniper Wolf is a narcissist. You know, I don't need to be a doctor to self-diagnose. And I don't believe in self-diagnosing. I do think she's <laughs> a fucking narcissist, a crazy woman. You know, you have all those millions of dollars. Seek professional help. We saw how Sniper Wolf was copying elements from Azyland that had already proven to be popular. A piece of wood used to mix paint for... 50 years. Used to mix paint for 50 years. Imagine how cool this would be like people like were a little more creative though. And they were like, pink, blue, yellow, purple. I mean, it would have been cooler if y'all used like brighter colors or something. The easiest examples to find by simply looking at the dates and comparing them are the hundreds of thumbnails and titles that Sniper Wolf used after Azzyland. I, I don't even know what to say to this. Like I get copying video ideas. A lot of people think that when two people drop a video the same day, it's like, oh, I saw his and I'm gonna rip it off. And it's like, well, it depends on the video length and what they talk about. Because sometimes I upload videos an hour or two after another creator and people think, well, he just saw it and ripped it off and it's like well no <laughs> that's not always sometimes i worked on it the night prior or maybe my internet was slow there's a few reasons why some people drop on the same day sometimes it's just a very big topic but i mean look at this this was from april 21st 2020 and then look at sniper wolf a few months later october 27th october 28th okay i could see that as a nice coincidence it was halloween but she's been known to do this and this one is just straight up a rip off right look at the background blue blue the fucking yellow arrow a thousand percent sniper wolf saw this that's a good thumbnail 
Time to steal it. Asylin did not deserve to be attacked by fucking Sniper Wolf. Jesus, you're like 20 something years old and you're acting like you're 15. Not being funny here. Sniper Wolf genuinely need to seek therapy. This is not normal. Or actually, I'm curious. I want to look at the S Sniper Wolf channel. So it looks like uh she's falling off more than me it seems like a lot of people are either getting sick of it or they're watching the videos that are calling her out and be like well yeah wolf you're actually a pretty shitty person i'm either way i'm glad people are realizing this i'm glad people are waking up they're seeing how much of a shitty person she is out of curiosity i want to check out this video just to see how the comments are hello friends it's me today we're checking out some more weird five minute hacks from five minute crafts oh yeah, she seems like she's so bored. The energy's just not there. And the top comment says, POV, brain rot, every <laughs> every wolf video. Are these old bots? My brain just rot watching this. My brain is not working. And I see that she's been harding a few comments right here. So just like NPC comments. I love her random stories that she shares with us. Is this Bonnie? Who is this? Uh, I don't know. This seems like a K-pop account. Oh my God, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, I don't want to mess with those people. Those people are crazy. So, yeah, the comments just look weird. You're the best. Hello. I mean, these could also be little kids. Let's just be honest. They're not the brightest. I love your video. 12 seconds. What happens in 12 seconds? Stick multiple okay. lines. <laughs> well, of course, now I know why they love this video. What the? F Wake up. Our queen has posted. What? Who is this? So this is definitely a bot. I'm looking for a good man. I'm tired of bad ones. I might have to click on that one. Hit my DMs on IG. Cindy. Cindy325. <laughs> Hit my IG Instagram if you want a nice man <laughs> very interesting i'm not saying she's botting comments or likes or views just very interesting in my opinion anyways i think the video is long enough and i hope you guys enjoyed it all right subscribe to this channel so we can pass ss sniper wolf we only need 34 million more subscribers till we pass her let's get that done gamers all right i'm gonna head out like share subscribe and i love you forever and follow my twitter and instagram down below thank you bye